Alright, late game building tutorial. So, come late game, building with a CV is the best thing to do because it's so fast and you can do it with just a single person. What you want to look out for is on the map, bases you've taken that have just turned tier 2, or at least close to tier 2. You want to get there as soon as they turn tier 2 in order to just spam a bunch of pillboxes. So get there with a bunch of BMATs, build a CV if there isn't one there already, load it up, start spamming pillbox. You want to cover from satchel teams first and foremost. So you don't want satchel teams to be able to just rush in with any kind of vehicle and just go straight in and satchel the, the base. So even putting walls and gates up helps. Lay down all your blueprints first, just the ones around the relic base at least anyways. Um, and you're going to want to build them up first before you do anything else. That way you've got cover whilst you build. So don't go crazy with the blueprints, just lay down the inner circle and just start pumping them out. In case of a relic base like this, you're always going to want to put a defense that can shoot inside. So one truck of BMATs will only get you so far. Uh, there was already some defences down here beforehand, but ultimately I think there's about 2,000 BMATs worth of defences around the base, and also around the outside. Uh, the outer layer is just rifle pillboxes, just to stop any infantry or partisans coming in and scouting, and just to slow them down a little bit. Uh, that's at a 100 metre range too. I didn't go the full 150 on this one. Uh, just because it's only me and I don't have the supplies to do so. 150 meters is probably the best what you can do is just do the full ring right around. It doesn't take all that long all up uh, using the full truck of BMATs that I had on hand. It took me about half an hour. But yeah, that's the best thing you can do late game is just spam up defenses on bases that have just become tier 2.